Hi, my name is Rems and this is Tupelo Restaurant and today we are going to be doing roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get the roast into the oven as it will take the longest. So let's get that guy prepped. Uh, we have here a five to six pound top round roast and we're going to just basically season this guy with a little bit of oil, a bit of salt, I like to use kosher salt, some black pepper, and some fresh garlic that we'll rub in there. Okay, put that around a little bit more of that. And then some fresh thyme, which we will just pick straight from the stem place on top there. Okay. Let's just move this guy for a second. Now, uh, I don't have a rack today, so what I like to do is use leftover French bread, since we always have that in the restaurant, and sort of make a little resting area or makeshift rack for the roast to sit on. And uh, when the roast is done, these are all crispy and beefy flavored, so they're, it's like a little snack you can have. Okay, so let's get our roast back on here. Okay. Oven temperatures vary. So what I'm giving you is an approximate uh, time and temperature um, guideline for this particular roast. We're going with 350 degrees today um, to reach 130 to 140, a medium rareish. Um, it would be about 17 to 19 minutes per pound, give or take. So the calculations for this fellow right here is about 80 minutes, give or take. So what I've done is set my um, timer for an hour. I won't even think about it for an hour until the timer goes off. Then I'll take an internal temperature and see how much longer I have to go. So this guy's ready to go into the oven. Okay, we're back and uh, the roast is in the oven. And what I wanna do is make um, my favorite uh, little condiment or sauce to accompany any kind of beef or roast that I do. And it's very simple. In the bowl here, I have one cup of sour cream. What we're gonna do is add that horseradish to the sour cream. A um, bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. And then I have a 50-50 blend here of Old Bay seasoning and Cajun seasoning um, that we use to sprinkle on our fried oysters. But it's also nice in lots of other things, uh, and I love using it, so here we go. Okay, and then we will take a lemon, push down on it a little bit just to loosen up the juice from the pulp. Cut that in half. Squeeze it in there, being careful not to get the seeds in there. You could also use a little bit of vinegar if you wanted to, uh, which would be nice. I prefer lemon, so that's what I'm doing. And then finally, we just mix this up. All right, so lemony, horsey, good seasoning, a little bit of bite with that, lemon, it's beautiful. This we'll put into the fridge for later on. Now it's time to make the Yorkshire pudding batter, okay? So what that is, and so this particular recipe that I got, uh, very easy, four eggs, which will equal, in this graduated cup here, one cup. So then you're going to do one cup of milk, and you can just follow it right up to the line. Okay, and then one cup of flour. However, what I'm going to do is mix the eggs and milk first. Kind of a neat sound. And then we'll get that into the bowl. So that's pretty much incorporated there. And then we will take our cup of flour, add it to this mixture here. All right, if you have a sieve, you could always sieve the flour 
into the egg and milk, or you could use an electric beater if you want. I'm used to doing these things by hand, so that's sort of how I do it. Okay. You get a best world all of the lumps out. Seems to be thinning out nicely, smoothing out nicely, so we're okay. Pinch or two of salt, and one pinch of black pepper. Incorporate that. All right, so when you're content with the texture of this, you'll get it into the fridge because it needs to sit for just about an hour. Okay, so I've pulled the roast beef out of the oven, um, and I took an internal temperature of 130, and we wanted somewhere between 130 and 140 for about medium rare. So what I'm doing here is I pulled it at 130. I'm anticipating the carryover cooking time, which is gonna be about 10 degrees. So it should bring it right to where we want it. Okay, so. Now, oh, that is to say that I've, the internal temperature in the center is what read on the thermometer. So that's gonna be the rarest part. And then the outsides, as, as we move towards the outsides, you'll have well or done pieces for those people who want that. It's also very important, have a timer, have a thermometer in your kitchen, especially when you're cooking for lots of people on the holidays you get sort of one chance with it. Um, all right, so let's transfer this guy to a cutting board. And we're gonna cover him with foil. And again, we're going to reserve these drippings and this crusty bread with the fat and all that you can always put out onto a bowl for people. Some people will get it, some people won't. It's delicious, and it's free, and it's a good use of leftover bread. Uh, I've got the reserved beef drippings, which we're using today, so we need to get this into that pan. So we're gonna do that here. All right. We've turned our oven up to 450 degrees, very hot. So that's how we're gonna have success. <laughs> with this Yorkshire pudding. Uh, so I wanna, you know, with my gloved hand here, evenly distribute this stuff so that it's not sticking. Okay, so we're going to then get this pan into the oven uh, until it's about at the smoking point or very, very hot. Uh, so let's call that about three minutes. All right, in we go. So uh, we put our pan into the oven, getting it real hot. I can hear it, it's sizzling. I'm gonna pull this out. Yeah, I can feel the heat coming off of that. I'm gonna get my batter in there. Waste not, want not, right? Get everything into the pan. Okay. Now this pan is gonna go back into the 450 degree oven for 20 minutes or until puffed up and golden brown. Um, all right, guys, here it is. We got uh, roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, and because I like it very much, horseradish cream. And here is your meal. Enjoy.